Last time we were able to create our create and list to those endpoints. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can shorten it by using a more generic view. So what we did last time is we created two API views. One does the listing, another one does the creation. And in the URLs, we went ahead to set up two different paths for this. But Django REST framework actually has another generic view that you can use here to combine the two functionalities. So that is called the list create API view. So we are going to now inherit it. And here where we have create to do API list and also this to do list API view, we are going to create our another one. This one is going to be called to do's API view. Then we are going to, of course, inherit from list create API view. Now we are going to bring in Serializer class and then permission classes. It's going to be the same. And when we are creating, so when it's creating, this method also gets called. So we can also override it and also change it and make sure it, it still adds the owner. And also, we need to also give a get query set such that this view knows that it should only retrieve the items that were created by the current logged in user, like this, and save this. So now that we have this, now we can come over here and comment out this. And we can go to our URLs. And instead of having two URLs, the Django REST framework will know how to use one path to handle the two different HTTP methods, the GET and also the POST. So here, I'm going to comment this and have a new path. So path. So this one is going to be going to, I'm just going to keep it as empty. And then for the view, let's import our view. We call this to do API view. Then that's the one we want to have here. Of course, we call it as view on it. Then let's pass the name. So name will be, let's say, to do like this. So when we save this, we can come back to our application and just go to to do's and make a get request. Okay. So when you make a get request here, you see that it is returning for us the same thing that it was doing before. But now when we come and make a post request, let's change some things here and do the post. You can see that still it goes ahead to create our to do. So that's it. I'm going to go ahead and now clear out all this stuff because we don't need them anymore. So in the views, I'm going to clear out all this. So just instead of using two classes, we can use one and we make it do different things if we inherit from this create. Okay, so that's going to do it for this one. So in the next one, we're going to be handling the view one, delete one, edit one, and up this one. So thanks guys for watching. I'll talk to you next time.